Hi, my name is Anne. Thank you for coming to my channel. Today I wanted to have just a really fun discussion about the Olympics because the opening ceremonies start tomorrow and I for one am very excited about the Olympics starting. I love international sport and of course the Olympics is the pinnacle of that. So I just wanted to talk about what my favorite sports are and I'm hoping you'll tell me yours. I'm going to talk a little bit about what countries I choose to cheer for and how I make that determination when my country, the United States, might not be in a particular competition or a game or something like that. And also a few things that a little bit annoy me about American Olympics coverage. And I'm curious whether the countries you might be in, if it's not the U.S., do the same thing or not. And my strategy for avoiding the things that do annoy me. So first. Uh, the Olympics are in Paris, which I am so excited about. I love Paris. It is my very favorite city. I've been there many times. I wish I could be there now, but I was there just this past January, and so I did see some of the beginnings of their preparations in terms of some of the signs they were putting up and things you could buy in the souvenir shops, which I didn't buy any Olympic souvenirs because I was sort of of the mindset that, well, I'm not there during the Olympics, so I shouldn't buy anything for the Olympics. And I'm regretting that decision now. I wish I had bought something, but I didn't. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So next time I'm in an Olympic city, the year of an Olympics, I will absolutely buy something. So my favorite sports are probably everybody's favorite sports. I, of course, love the gymnastics. I like diving. I love track and field. I was in track and field when I was in high school and in college, so I always have great feelings about that, especially the field events. I was a high jumper primarily, and so I love to watch those events. And I also really like the team sports, so soccer, uh, basketball, those kinds of things. So those are the sports that I will be looking forward to the most, but honestly, I will pretty much have the Olympics on in the background all of the time. As many of you know, I am an instructor in a community college and it's the time of the year where I'm starting to get my syllabi ready for classes and get everything organized for the beginning of the next semester. And so I'm in my office a good portion of each day. So I'll just have the Olympics on the TV next to me while I'm working and whatever sport is on, I will watch. So the second thing I wanted to go over is what countries do you root for when your country is not participating. So maybe it's a sport your country isn't in, or it's just a, a, a match or a round or something that your country isn't playing in at that time. So for me, I base it on what countries I have spent the most time in. So Spain and England or the UK, depending on how they're arranging their competition, sometimes England plays separately, sometimes it's the UK as a whole. I think for the Olympics, it's the UK as a whole. So Spain is always number one and the UK is number two. I have lived in both of those countries for short periods of time. So far and away, those are the two top countries for me, which was really fun during the Euros soccer tournament a couple of weeks ago when the final was Spain versus England. And those are the two teams I always cheer for. So that was really cool. And I was super glad that Spain won. So other than that, those two countries, most other countries are pretty much tied for me. There's a lot of France, Poland, um, Italy, South Africa are some of the countries, uh, Portugal are countries that I've spent quite a bit of time in. So we're the top ones that I will be cheering for. But I know some people, they choose it based on a country they really want to go to or they know somebody there or um, maybe they just like the colors of the flag or their national anthem. There's no wrong reason, but I think it's cool to root for other countries as well and not just focus on your own country, especially when your country isn't immediately playing in that moment. So then what are the things that bother me about American Olympics coverage? There's a couple. And to avoid those things, I recently put a VPN on my iPad so that I can watch shows from other countries. So I will probably spend a lot of time looking at other English language countries coverage so that I can see some other things. Because the things that bother me about American coverage are number one, 
a really heavy focus on a metal count. And again, I'm curious if any countries you might be in do this, but here in the United States, they're always talking about which country has won the most medals, which I think is is stupid. The Olympics is not a competition to win the most medals. It's about each individual event and each individual person that is competing. And I think it's just as impressive to win a whole bunch of medals as it is to maybe win one if you're from a country that hasn't won any medals at all in, in many years. So I really couldn't care less how many medals the United States or any other country wins. And I hate the focus on that because that shouldn't be the point of the Olympics. The second is American coverage tends to focus solely on American athletes. So if there is a um, a competition that an American isn't in, they just won't show it. And again, that's why I wanted to be able to watch other countries' coverage so that I can see some of the sports that I really enjoy, even if an American isn't in it. And the third thing that annoys me about American coverage is sometimes tendency to focus on stories rather than the sport as if the sport isn't interesting enough to hold people's attention and you'll see this especially in sports that tend to attract women so gymnastics for example so they might show more feel-good stories about the athletes than they do the competition itself and again especially when there aren't any americans competing they'll show something else rather than the the people who are not from America that are competing. And I think it's a little bit insulting to women to think that we would not be interested in the sport, that we need to have this, this fluffy feel-good stuff more to be able to attract our attention. And I think it's important to know a little bit about the athletes, but sometimes it gets a little excessive and I just want to see the sports. So again, I'm hoping that watching other countries' coverage will help alleviate some of those things. So I will be rooting, of course, for the United States, number one, Spain, number two, and then we'll go from there. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what sports you love and how you decide what countries you might cheer for. And hope you really enjoy the Olympics and take some time to watch. I'm really glad that it's in France because I love to be able to see the scenes from Paris that they will show. And plus the time zone works well so that it, the things will be on here kind of in the middle of the day, which is nice. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.